You guys chose a tattoo for me, and I'm actually gonna get it. Don't be nervous, don't be nervous. Now that ship has sailed. And this will be the biggest tattoo I have ever gotten in my life. Oh, are you ready? Cause I'm not. This is the craziest thing I have ever done for social media. <laughs> Witness the history. Okay, so let's get into why. 10 months ago, I posted on my Instagram story, which if you want to be a part of experiences like this, make sure you go follow my Instagram because that's where I give you guys all the inside look as to what's coming next in my videos. I posted casually about wanting to get a new tattoo and asked you guys what I should get. To give you guys a brief history on my tattoo journey, I actually only have one tattoo. This one right here and it took me years to decide if I was actually ready to get it. I was so nervous I thought I was never gonna get another job in my life. I'm someone who truthfully loves tattoos. I think they're so cool, so unique. They tell the story of every individual person who gets them and I love tattoos so much that I honestly want to get so many. Like I want to leave this earth fully tatted even though I have no idea if I'd actually be able to pull that off but we'll think about that later. But I've always felt some hesitancy because of how permanent they are. Like once you get a tattoo that shit is there for life and because you guys mean so much to me like I can't even describe how much love I have for you guys I thought it's only appropriate to get a tattoo that you guys chose for me so I can look at myself when I'm 60 years old and be reminded of how much love you guys have shown me how much y'all mean to me and just how incredible this entire experience online has been so anyway 10 months ago I asked for ideas and you guys submitted some <laughs> wild ones shall we go through some of them I got so many responses from you guys on Instagram saying what I should get a specific skincare product that you love creative but I also don't know if that product's ever going to be discontinued outline of a skincare product so like a cleanser, a serum, or moisturizer, which I think is really creative. Sunscreen. Honestly, that would totally fit the brand because I'm constantly preaching about sunscreen every single day, so you're not far off. A lot of people said ingredients don't lie, bitch, which I really do like this idea because I say it all the time on my channel, and you guys love saying it as well. Every single week, that one's really creative too because that's kind of like the signature phrase, I guess, from my videos, very creative. A cross because Jesus is amazing. <laughs> I still can't get over this one. <laughs> um, I, I have never talked about Jesus in my videos before. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong, he's a cool dude, but I actually am not Christian. Actually, the church f***ed me up in a lot of ways, so if anything, that would be a trauma mark. A tramp stamp. <laughs> so many people said this, how much of a hoe do you guys think I am? I mean, I have had my hoe days, but ugh, that's just way too much effort. <laughs> Sounds like a waste of real estate to me. And then I saw the magical idea. It's creative, it's different, it's stylish, and I actually stopped and thought to myself, what if I actually got this tattoo? It only took me 10 months to decide I'd actually get this, but I'm committed, I am here, and I'm gonna get it. And not only that, I decided to get two more tattoos to document my incredible journey here online, and I'm gonna get all three tattoos at once. So you wanna see what tattoos I get? Let's go! So we're on our way to get the tattoos. Say hi, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> we're going right now. Um, I'm late, as usual, to f***ing everything. I'm honestly getting a little nervous because the last time I got this tattoo, I mean, I remember it didn't hurt, but it still hurt, like, a little bit. But I'm nervous because I'm wondering, like, what if my pain tolerance is, like, shit now because that was, like, three years ago. And if it's still gonna hurt, I don't know. But I think it'll be okay. But I'm excited. We're going to Black Cat Tattoo which is the last tattoo shop that I got this tattoo at. We're walking there now. I thought we were late, but we made it in time, so yay. I wanted to take like a shot of alcohol or something to like, you know, distract from the pain. But I've been hearing this me messages because I know some people say that you can't drink before because it like numbs your blood. But then I know people who have gotten tattoos when they're like blackout drunk, so I don't even fucking know. So I finally did it. I got my tattoos. Honestly, looking at this entire process, I will say that I did kind of make these decisions more last minute, <laughs> but I know I would psych myself. I know if I thought about it too much, I wouldn't do it. And this is something I really wanted to do. I did it. So like I mentioned before, I decided to get not one, not two, but three tattoos all on my right arm. So I decided to get a little red tattoo of the YouTube button. I decided to get a little more simplified, stylized design so it didn't just look like I was walking around with the brand's logo on me. Something that you can tell is a reference to social media and kind of my story, but isn't blatantly like, hey, look at me. This is something I really wanted to get as just a memory of where everything began because I've always felt like there's a special connection with my YouTube 
YouTube audience because that's where I started creating content. And that's where I've, you know, enjoyed making content the most is through my YouTube videos. And it's something I still love to this day. So I really just wanted to, you know, have a little memory of that. Now I've never gotten a tattoo with red ink before. I was originally going to go with black, but the tattoo artist talked me into getting a red tattoo because she was like, Hey, red tattoos may be a little bit more faint or less noticeable if you don't want it to be really bold on your arm. And if you want it to go more bold in the future, you can always do black over the top of it. And I was like, you know what? This is a good idea because I'm super indecisive and I never know if I want to commit to something long term. So I felt like this would be a good tattoo to, you know, in the meantime, have it be a red ink and then down the road, maybe, you know, touch it up with some black ink over the top. I don't know. Thankfully, this tattoo didn't hurt very much. I wouldn't consider myself to have a high pain tolerance, but I wouldn't say that I have a low pain tolerance. I'd say I have like a, a medium pain tolerance. And honestly, this one didn't hurt at all. Um, it just felt like, you know, someone was just scratching my skin, but that's about it. And here is what the tattoo looks like. See, it's a cute little play button that's not too noticeable. It's not anything like crazy visible from far away. I love that you can just see it when my hand is up like that or if you see it behind like that. It's really minimal. It's nothing too blaringly obvious, but it's a little, you know, memento, a little memory of where everything started and just, you know, to help me have positive memories of my time on YouTube. Now I will say, after getting the tattoos, they naturally scab up, they always do. And for this one, I was like, wow, it's kind of taking a while to, you know, finish scabbing. Cause when your skin scabs over, certain parts of the line get more faded certain parts are more visible because you, you know have dead skin cells over the top. And by now it's already been, what, over two weeks and I'm like, okay, it's still scabbed. And then I realized that part of the tattoo has faded. I did not realize that when you get red ink versus black ink, it has the tendency to fade a lot faster than black ink. And it's pretty common for you to need to get it touched up. So I will need to get this tattoo touched up, unfortunately, but thankfully it wasn't very painful. It's gonna be really fast. I mean, it'll probably take like three minutes and we'll be done. Overall, I was really shocked at how fast each of these tattoos took. I expected it to be a long time, but to be honest, we spent the most time trying to figure out exactly where I wanted each of these tattoos placed because if there was one thing I was not gonna let happen, it was me regretting the placement of my tattoo if it was slightly crooked or not 100% even because even if other people can't see that, I certainly can. And I wanted to make sure that everything was perfect. And so I spent like an hour and a half placing these tattoos with the little like stickers that they use. And the whole process of actually getting the tattoos done took like under 30 minutes. So leave it to my indecisive ass to drag everything out. You can kind of see how it's faded already. So when I go back to Hawaii, I will need to get it touched up, but honestly, I don't mind. I think it's super cute. The next tattoo I wanted to get was the most painful of the tattoos that I got. And that's actually because it's in the same area as this one. And when I was researching like what certain areas are the most painful when it comes to getting tattoos on the body, the wrists are actually like one of the highest pain points because there's the veins and tendons there. And I'm someone who has very, I don't know if you guys can see, very prominent veins and tendons. Like they really stick to the surface of my skin. So even when I got this one, I remember being like, Ooh, doesn't feel great. And when I was getting this one on my wrist, uh, I wouldn't say it was painful, but there was moments where I was just like, squinting, not the most comfortable, but thankfully because this was also a small tattoo, it wasn't too intense. And for this tattoo, I wanted to commemorate the launch of my skincare brand, Selfless by Hiram. That was honestly such a special moment to me and something that I worked so, so hard for, harder than I have anything else in my life, but so incredible. And I'm so proud of the social change that my brand has generated and will continue to generate. And I thought, you know, the brand launch was probably one of the biggest moments, if not the biggest moment of my life. I should definitely commemorate this on my body. And I decided to go with an H from part of the logo of Selfless by Hiram. Now I know you may be saying, Hiram, where is that H? I don't remember seeing this H. This is actually the F and the L of Selfless. And I know some people have asked like, why did you stylize it like that? Not only did we want to make the logo like really unique, once we styled it this way, I realized that you can kind of see that it makes an H, like a stylized H. And I was like, that's super cool because you know, it's the first letter of my name and I just thought it added a unique touch and everyone seemed to like it. And so when it came to getting, you know, an element of the logo or something to commemorate, from the brand on my body, I figured why not just take that little portion and make it into a cute little H on my wrist. And I think this is so freaking adorable. I love it. This one took the longest to place because it's the wrist and with like turning and movements and everything. It just made it a lot more complicated to place it in the exact right spot. But I'm absolutely obsessed with it. And it's so special to me because when I look at it, I think of like, wow, 
Look at what we were able to create, you know, look at this brand that's able to do so much good for the world and help people get access to clean drinking water, help protect forests from deforestation, and of course, provide incredible skincare products for you guys. I don't know, it, it just makes me really happy to look at, and I think it's super cute having both of these tattoos just right there on the wrist. And then for the final tattoo, this is the one that you guys dared me to get and the biggest tattoo I have ever gotten. It's definitely a bigger one, but I would have to say this is the tattoo that I'm happiest with and also the tattoo that I get the most compliments on. I'm absolutely obsessed with it. So back in December of last year, when I asked you guys, what specific tattoos do you think I should get? I got a lot of people responding saying that I should do the molecular structure of niacinamide. And I was like, you know what? That's a really cute idea. When I looked up a picture, I was like, oh yeah, it's, it's really cute. I love the design. Not that molecular structure has much design, but you get what I mean. And I was like, okay, that's probably the most creative idea I've seen yet. And when I mentioned it to people on my team, they were like, oh my gosh, obsessed with that idea. You should totally do it. I figured I would go a little bit more bigger with this one just to, you know, kind of represent the amount of like love I have for you guys. I know it's cheesy and shit, whatever. But also in order to make sure every element of the design was clearly tattooed in my skin and didn't have the potential to bleed or fade over time. And honestly, it was really tricky figuring out which molecular structure I was supposed to go with because when I was looking it up, there was multiple forms of molecular structures for niacinamide. There's the structure for niacin, there's the structure for nicotinic acid. There was like a bunch of different ones. So I had to go to so many different websites and see what the general consensus was as to what the molecular structure for niacinamide is. This one I'd say was definitely not as painful as the others. I'd say this is probably the least painful out of the three tattoos that I got just because the wrist area is so sensitive. Are you guys ready? Are you ready to see it? This is the tattoo, look at it. I think it is so freaking cute. I love the linear design. I think it looks so crisp and clean and modern. I get a lot of compliments on this one. You can see it, like see how you can slightly see it when I'm facing forward. I really like that just because I feel like I've been so conservative with the tattoos I've done because they're slightly hidden. I wanted this one to be a little bit more bold and honestly, I could not be more in love with the design. I think it's so adorable. I love how it looks. I think the tattoo artist did such a good Good job, props to her for putting up with my indecisive ass when it came to placing these tattoos. And I feel like this is a design that will withstand time. Like I don't think it'll ever be not kind of cool looking to have a molecular structure on your body. I don't know. And plus it makes me look a lot more smart than I actually am. <laughs> and I feel like this tattoo makes me look like I have my lab coat and lab goggles in the car. I would love to get your guys' thoughts on my tattoos. What do you think? Do you like them? If you don't like them, please keep that to yourself because these are permanent and they're on my body forever. And the only thing that matters is that I love them. <laughs> so if you hate them, just keep that shit to yourself. If there's one thing that I've learned from this experience, it's that I want to get a shit ton more tattoos. This may be even more addicted to you know, the idea and the experience of getting tattoos. I don't know why, because it's not necessarily the most comfortable thing, but I just think tattoos look so freaking cool. So if you guys think I should get another tattoo, what do you think I should get? Maybe I'll make another video when I am at a point where I'm ready to get a tattoo again, but we'll see. I'm gonna try to hold off for a while because getting three at once, that's a lot, girl. And if you guys haven't already, be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you can see my videos every single week. And I will see you guys in the next one. Mwah.